What's up, fam? Welcome back to Red Big John's backyard fishing. Giving on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Without Him, none of these things are possible. Do you fish here a lot? Nah. No. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious how it's been the last couple of years. I mean, you know, it's a hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah, large mouth. That's predominantly it. I had a snakehead one time. Yeah, I know they're in there. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, appreciate it. Good luck. Yep. Yeah. The lily pads are crazy. I ain't been here in a minute, though. We about to find out how bad it is. Rob is already here. Reb is late, y'all. I set my alarm clock, it went off, I hit my snooze, and I never heard it again after that. We here now, with all these, we in the wild, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back with y'all in a minute, but uh, come on, let's get this show on the road. Welcome back to Rev Big John's. Backyard fishing. Yo, Red, yo, Red. Welcome back, welcome man. back, man. Welcome back to the Brother, what's up? Really? As soon as it went in, it went. <laughs> no other action other than that? No. You only been in this area right here? Yeah, I fished all down through here, but yeah. Oh, I need my gloves on, don't I? All right, y'all, here we go. It is a mess out here. So we gotta get something to come up and all this stuff. I just wanna kinda skip over all of that. Hey, let me get my gloves on. All right, y'all, I'm ready. Once you go down, you're going to pick up all this and go. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to pick up a frog. Or attack these pads. With the frog. Trying to get some action. Trying to get them to come and chase something. Ah. 
but this is the puzzle man of trying to figure this stuff out this is what we do all fishermen they know they understand they understand the science of what it takes to try to get these fish to bite especially in the summer months Summer pattern always can be tough. Or it could be good, you know. Early morning generally is the key. Late in the uh, evening, you know, as the sun begins to set, those are the best times. You know, but sometimes you can't make it those times. What you can't do though, is the middle of the day. Hey, ain't nothing happening, y'all. Water is warm, so I'm not worried about the strike distance. They can get there quick if they want to get there to get it. If they don't, ain't nothing you can do. One more cast. We're gonna switch up. Some messed up cast because I got all this gook on it. Gotta be a good cast. was a good case let's switch up well while we are trying to find the fish I guess the good red will give a little lesson right lesson for today <clears throat> you know sometimes in life you gotta make decisions right and sometimes the decisions you gotta make, they are not easy decisions, you know, but you gotta make them. Good, bad, or indifferent, you gotta make them. And then once you make them, you gotta live with them. Some of them work out to perfection, others don't. But you know, I don't regret any of the decisions that I've made in my life because I realized the decisions that I've made have made me into who I am today. So, did I make some bad choices? Certainly. But I learned from those mistakes and those choices and, and, I, and that's what life is. Life, there is no magic bullet to success in life other than trial and error. You know, OJT on-the-job training, right? So as long as you're living and you're doing those things, you're going to get some good days, you're going to have some bad days, and you're going to have some average days. But if you refuse to go out because you don't know what's going to happen, you're going to have no days and no life. And uh, what a waste of uh, God-given talent and ability not to do anything, right? So get out there, man. Make it happen. Do things. If you fail, don't sweat it. It's just a part of the territory. Learn from it, though, so you don't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. You know, this day of fishing, don't know what was going to happen. All we knew is that we was going to get out and see if we can't catch some fish. Why? If you can't catch no fish, <laughs> unless your line is in the water. 
Once you get there and you fish the place, then you realize whether or not the fish were going to bite or not going to bite. But you never know until you get there. Don't hear those stories when people say, man, you should have been there. Don't should have been there, be there. Get out there, live your life, make something happen. I would preach a sermon, live until you die. Some folks would be dying while they're living, which ain't living. So keep living. Even if you got a diagnosis or something like that, and you know, cancer, whatever the case may be, Alzheimer's, keep living until you die. Don't go some way and help death. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you don't go help death, you might cheat death, you know? Because if your will to live is stronger than whatever you got, I've seen it, man. Some people have come back and have been healed and recovered. And I think a lot, I know the Lord has everything to do with it, but I think it's because that person refused to die. And the Lord gave him some extra time, you know? I got one in my congregation, supposed to have been dead. I mean, you think about maybe 10 years ago. It's been so long now. They, they gave her up, gave her six months and stuff like that. Man, that woman's still thriving and living, man. So do yourself a favor. Get out there. Make something happen. Amen? Amen. I need to keep you up top, Mr. Paddle Tail, so you don't pick up all the gook. 10 pound test, we don't need you going in nothing thick. Nothing thick or heavy. Let's move. What y'all think about this area? It look juicy. I don't know how thick it is, but some should be up in here. Snake here. I don't see no movement though. Stopping these open pockets. Ain't nobody been sitting on these edges. You know, it's funny because everything looked juicy. <laughs> I brought the net thinking last time somebody said there was snakehead in here. So. Yeah, I had one on. I, um, I don't even see nothing moving though. I don't even see them trying to move. I've seen some movement. I don't know if it's turtles or what. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I can see the turtle. When we back over there, I did see, I don't know if it was bluegill or small bass, but I did see something over there. Mm -hmm. You can actually see him swimming. Right. Yeah, we got cloud cover and everything. I don't know what the water, I mean, I know the water temperatures are high, but still. Still, man, come on now. Somebody come and say hello to my little friend. Will we, Will we or won't we, we, we catch, catch an elusive bass? Stay tuned, stay tuned to find out on the Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. This time it's a far Far different from the last time we were here. Oh yeah, way different. It looked much cooler. Yeah, and no pads out here either. Oh no, last time we you was here, that's right. Last time I was here was like in the early spring, yeah. and none of this was here. 
No, I, I wasn't here last last summer. Yeah. Well, fam, what can I say? From triumph to failure, or from triumph to tragedy. What do I mean by that? <laughs> well, I started out the year here with a nice four pounder. I came today and nobody was willing to play with me. Rob managed to snag two of them. So there were some that were biting, but they wasn't biting what I was throwing today. So, there it is. You know, it don't take long. If they gonna hit, they'll hit. And right now, they ain't really hitting, hitting. They ain't chomping. And so, uh, they ain't gonna chomp, I'm gonna chomp. But hey fam, you know what time it is. And if you don't, you about to find out. <laughs> Next time, I'll see you next time.